Hello Ash Class, welcome to another one of Mrs Wilson's story times. Today I'm going to read another Harry McClary book, but before I tell you the title of the book, I just want to say that I know that Scruffs wanted to join the story, but I can't find him anywhere, so I've got Yogi instead. Oh, hang on, there's Scruffs, he was there all the time, so he is ready for the story. I hope you're sitting comfortably and you're ready for the story too. So today this story is called Harry McClary's Hat Tricks. Swish went the wind in the tops of the trees, swishing the branches and tossing the leaves. It whipped around corners and blew over bins. It buffeted birds into spirals and spins. A blusterous, gusterous, dusterous day, but Harry McClary was ready to play. He scooped up his skimmer and carried it down to the edge of the park at the far end of town. The wind was so restless, its buffets so strong, that it flapped him and slapped him and zapped him along. He waited for someone to stop and to play. But everyone said, we're too busy today. Along came Miss Plum. She patted his nose. Maybe, she said, just a couple of throws. Whiz went the skimmer and off like a shot went Harry McClary post haste from the spot. He hurtled so fast over pathway and creek that his legs were a blur and his tail was a streak. There he is running so fast. Then with a swoop and a flurry of black, he caught it and carried it all the way back. Zing went the skimmer high over a seat, but Harry McClary had wings on his feet. He zoomed like a rocket, he galloped and sped over railings and grass and the begonia bed. Then, with a swoop, and a flurry of black. He caught it and carried it all the way back. Up at the top in the summery sun, the wind was enjoying some frolicsome fun. It played with the hats, all the dresses and veils. It hassled the hairdos and tangled the tails. Grandmother Pew was a vision in blue from the top of her head to the bow on her shoe. Her hat was a riot, a ribbon of lace, a, of ribbon and lace, roses and feathers that tickled her face. She clung to it bravely, but doom and dismay. The wind whistled through it and blew it away. Harry McClary, as quick as a flash, was off on a desperate daredevil dash. Like lightning he scooted, skedaddle, skidoo, while faster and faster the hat simply flew. He chased it through marigolds over a frond, straight through the hedge to the edge of the pond. Then, with a swoop and a flurry of black, he caught it and carried it all the way back. I hope you enjoyed that. That's a good story, isn't it? And I'm sure that these two enjoyed them. Oh, hello, Scrush. Did you enjoy the story? You did? Woof, woof. Oh, that's good. So I'll be back again soon with another Mrs. Wilson story time. Bye bye.